welcome back to Let's Players. That gamer Mexican here in Fire Emblem. Well, a Let's Play for Fire Emblem, I guess. This is episode 3, chapter 2. With one of those not really annoying, but kind of long descriptions, I guess. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. Glass is a mercenary. He's got really crappy stats for a mercenary, so it's not that hard to kill. And two of my guys have a lantern, so that makes it even easier. The problem is he's on a throne, so his defense goes up, and every turn he heals if I don't kill him. But I'm pretty sure I can kill him in one turn. It's not going to be that hard. He's got like 20 life. He seems really bitchy though. get the sword. And it's good, it's got the durability and the weight of an iron sword. It gives critical bonus it gives a really large critical bonus. And it's got the damage of a steel sword. Yeah, this is what I hate about the tutorial. I, I never normally go into houses because they give me really useless information like, oh you can break that tree and it lands in such a way that you can use it as a bridge. Or, you can break that wall and go through, like right now. The funny thing though about walls and trees that you break, there's a special axe called the Devil Axe that you get one of in the game. I never use it because I hate it, but it's got a chance to, to hit you instead of whatever you were hitting. And even if you're going to hit a wall, it, it there's a chance to hit you back. I think the chance is 31 or 30% minus your luck, so never give it to someone with really low luck if you want to use it. Thank you. 
also a really good strategy is if, if an enemy is in the fortress, you can always risk just standing outside the fortress so he has to move out to attack. It's, it's always worth it to do that. By the way, the message you heard earlier was Great Wall. Why is it though that an entire fortress is, is the size of one guy, but a little shrine that holds a sword can fit like 20? Because if they die, you just lose right away. You you should always use them because they turn out to be the strongest characters you can possibly get in the game. They either have the strongest, they're either the fastest, or like like Lin, she'll end up to be one of the fastest characters you can get. Hector, who's the lord you get later on, he's like a general, but a stronger version of one. And Elwood is really well balanced compared to all the other lords. Not that I've never really had a problem. Normally when I use Lynn, she gets like 20 strength and like 10, 12 defense, so she's fine. are also useful because they're about the only things you'll find inside a place that can help you defend. Guys, and uh, when you look at when you look at guys, you can see what items they hold. And when you kill them, the ones that are outlined in yellow, they drop. You can use this to get a really, really, really strong spear later on in the game, and I'll explain that. It's, it's using the mind glitch, which I'll also explain later. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, even though the sword has a durability, it's really good to use the sword in, in lens mode, because even if it uh, has even one durability, when you get it in Elowitz mode later on, it's got, or it's been repaired to full again, so you can use it to kill really strong enemies and get a lot of experience. Hey, I just realized. The sound's not fast this time. I hope you guys watch this, and I hope you come back next time for the other episodes. That Gamer Mexican, signing off.